All right, well, it's official. You can no longer walk in the boat. It is completely packed with stuff. Uh, off camera, I've done another couple runs down into the grain bin to get more stuff up in here. And uh, I just figured I wouldn't bother you guys with it. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. So we still need to um, get all the rigging off the mast, but the grain bin is done, which is just awesome. Um, so now I think I'll just focus on the mast. I don't know if I'm going to have time today, but, um, but maybe it come out here again tomorrow or the next day or something like that and get it taken care of. All right, so we've got the boat fully packed up and now basically I just need to take off uh, a little bit of rigging that I didn't take off years ago and um, get the mast completely ready to go. I also want to uh, just get an idea of the overall footprint of the boat. So to start out here, I'm just going to measure and, um, and see what type of space the boat is actually going to need to take up when we go down there. All right, so from the outside of the jack stands, we've got about 15 feet. And the jack stands going lengthwise are 24 feet. Now that doesn't include any overhangs. Of course, this boat has uh, pretty big overhangs in the front and back. Um, so, you know, that's another 10 feet, let's say. Um, so yeah, 15 by 25 feet. That's, uh, that's, you know, enough space to fit all the jack stands and have the boat up on it. Um, if we include the mast, you know, you could really snug the mast up in there. Just a couple feet, three feet, something like that. Alright, so now that we have that out of the way, I'm going to get to work on removing the rest of the rigging.
that's it. The blog readers will remember I took, uh, you know, the majority of the stuff off years ago for sizing and all sorts of stuff, but um, got the rest of this off, all of the starboard side lowers and shrouds and all that. Um, another thing that I don't exactly know what it is, but I'll keep it until I figure it out. <laughs> And um, so I brought the spinnaker pole up and put it in the boat. I thought about doing the same with the boom, but honestly the boom is just too big and heavy. I don't want it inside the boat with all that other stuff. It might uh, move around and break something. So hopefully they'll just be able to throw that on the trailer with the mast. And then um, we have our roller furler and I just wrapped it with the halyards. So the halyards are in mast and I wanted to leave them on so I don't have to go chasing uh, new halyards. And so I just wrapped them around to kind of hold that up on there. And it's, it's secure, it's not going anywhere. So hopefully they won't have a problem with that. And yeah, that's about it. So I think we're done. I think this boat is ready to transport now. It's pretty crazy. Um, it's been a lot more work than I thought it was going to be, but I'm happy that it's over. And I'm not really looking forward to uh, moving it. it kind of makes me a little nervous, but um, I am very excited to have it down with us in Florida. So we are going to Florida in five days yeah five days from today we will be there at our new house so it can't come fast enough and um, the next time we check in I will see you in Florida <laughs>